Good morning and happy Monday. Um, so it's the season to start warming up your car again and I have to get into the habit of warming up my car um, <laughs> while I continue to get ready so that I'm not wasting time sitting here waiting for my car to warm up. But anyway, I'm not wasting time because I'm speaking to you. Um, and uh, I wanted to bring up a point today. Um, one of my sisters mentioned that she saw this um, ad of um, you know a, a baby in a car seat, you know, in the back seat in the car seat, and the parents in the front both overdosed. Um, and the message was to, I guess, the message, the intent was to scare the addict, like, don't let this be you, don't let do this to your children, and. My comment was is you can't scare an addict and what I mean by that is two things first of all an addict doesn't identify with that happening to them in the moment when they're in the grips of addiction all they can think about is getting their fix getting their, you know their drug of, drug of choice they're not thinking that they're gonna overdose they don't think it's gonna happen to them either they don't feel it's gonna happen to them or maybe a part of them is, don't care and they feel like their kids are probably better off without them, right? Um, and the second thing is that addicts have so much guilt and shame. They have so much guilt and shame around being an inadequate parent, right? So maybe they've gotten high in front of the, their kids um, and they have a lot of guilt and shame over that, you know? And if you're not an addict, you might not understand this. Um, you might think, well, if you feel guilty, use it on your kids. Don't use it on your kids. It's not that simple. But so addicts have a lot of guilt and shame around this, as it is, right? Some, some, some of us women, um, you know, have done a lot of, a lot of things that we have a lot of shame for. And what keeps us stuck, what keeps us sick, is that guilt and shame. And so when we're feeling overwhelmed with guilt and shame, what do we do? We use. So those, those ads that try to guilt us and shame us into doing the right thing only add, add gas onto the fire, only perpetuate the addiction even more. Because now we look at that picture and say, oh my God, I'm a shitty mother. I'm a shitty parent. I, I get high in front of my kids and I, I, I can't stop. I, can't, I, don't, I don't know the way out and, and I feel shitty. Like I shouldn't be doing this, you know? I'm, I'm a terrible mother. I'm overwhelmed with these feelings. The only way I know how to relieve that, that guilt and shame, that overwhelm, is to get high. Those ads are not working. What we need to know, what we need to teach people is um, you are doing the best you can. You can do it. You can do better and we'll show you how. Give me your hand. You're not a bad person. You're sick. And I know for me, I've been there and I know the way out. So follow me. If you need help, if you're stuck in the grips of addiction, please message me. I can help you. I know the way out. I've been there. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you love, show the people that you love, <laughs> that you love them. Send them that text. Give them that call. Give them that hug. And remember, you're doing the best you can. You're a wonderful person. You may be sick, but you're not a bad person. Until next time, guys, live your life enthusiastically.